Well, it's a fine morning and we're here to do a job of work on mask cloth that's been stopped for quite some time. We've got these sheets to uh, protect the grass, courtesy of MKM. And this was a delicate manoeuvre. Facelift is the company of course that's uh, providing the cherry picker, 45 metre cherry picker. And we didn't think we were going to get in but the man did a very good job. This is a 45 metre machine, which is uh, quite high. I'm just getting ready to uh, go up and get this machine set up. Graham Wilson came and took a few uh, stills to record the thing for posterity. Oh, is that the light one up? I don't know. Maybe the other way. And is that it? So here we go, we're all set up and uh, just getting the machine in position. Lovely morning. No wind, not like it was yesterday. We have to cancel it. Now this thing's computerised. All too technical for me. And that's our objective. We get to the top and uh, try and bring up the head. We come nice and slowly. Anything from the top of the parapet down over. So this is where we are now, we're trying to uh, remove this netting. Oh, there's a little man having a go. Take all the bits off. I mean, they are Do you want to go into the corner or...? Fortunately we were able to stay in one position to uh, do all the manoeuvres. With some difficulty, I must admit, but the drive was uh, first class. Gavin, our driver, that was. The thing with these machines is you've got to be aware of everything all around you, even though you're at that height. It's changed a bit. Have you had a pan right round for it? We've got the top of it. This is the net that was uh, put to protect the church tower from pinching the rooster. And it successfully did its job and now they've got out the habit, fortunately. So to save it getting wrapped round the pointers again, we, uh, we're going to remove it all. I think that was the worst bit of the tower, that little corner there, but the uh, tower is in remarkable good condition. We're on the north face now, this was, uh, this was a bit awkward. How far that way can you go now? Well, we managed to do it. The basket extends by twice its, uh, twice its length, which made it easier. We're working our way now to uh, the other side. I think Bill's explaining bits of mask. Have a look at it.
I keep saying how good the driver was. He was very good. He could he could manoeuvre that uh, machine very slowly into position. Oh, hello. And Pete's obviously now gone up the inside of the tower uh, to assist us taking the net off. You'll just see coming into shot um, a mast. There it is, which is a radio mast, and that's um, the church get. Um, less than £2,000 a year for that being there for rent, which doesn't seem a lot of uh, money to me. Of course, we don't have um, mics on the hotel, is it? Tell you where you are. Oh, we've finished the net now and um, we we're off up to uh, the full height of the machine which is 45 metres. It just shows a good view of the steel works there. Looking down on top of the church tower and the church itself. We're 25 metres above the church tower now. Right, this is a panoramic view of as you can see the old church, old church there, sorry, front cliff. There was no houses there when we were kids, the, the square. And you can come round and look up the high street out of Mask up towards the railway fields beyond. No houses there when, uh, when we were kids in the, the early 60s. None of them, it was all fields, cow pasture. People don't realise how far uh, you can see. Sorry? People don't realise when you're this high just how far you can see. Just see how a new uh, wind farm being built up in the, the distance there. Just skirted over um, Cheshire Home. And then down towards the uh, Cliff House. You can even see the beach, low, yes, low water map. Very good. Back Excellent. to the old church. Now we're coming uh, nice and steady back down. They're saying before the church is in uh, remarkably good condition considering its, uh, its age. The panels, those panels there are, are all which they need to uh, sort out. Now we're in the uh, we're in where the clock faces are. This was um, taken from clockwork to electric in 1967. Quite simple really. And it's illuminated by uh, four low watt bulbs. In the bell tower now, it's, um, they were new bells were put in in 1973 and what they do was uh, melt the old bells down and uh, re reform them so there we are we're back on the ground and i think that was uh, a successful job we've got all letting off and uh, thanks to first lift and pete uh, the job was a success <laughs>